Hi, my name is Tony Selzo and welcome to The Buzz, Indiana's underground business voice. We're uh, very lucky here today. We've got Marlon Boothby with Big Fish Consulting. Now, Big Fish Consulting, it's a great name. What does Big Fish do? Big Fish Consulting Minnows to Marlins is a consultant a firm that helps companies who want to do business with the federal government but don't understand the huge red tape involved. And we help them motivate uh, and mitigate the risk of going through the maze of government contracts. Now, how did you become qualified to be an expert on this? Well, I have a master's degree from Johns Hopkins in business science, and I went back to college and got um, a bachelor's and master's degree in federal contract law and acquisition management, which is the Bible for business doing mm -hmm. with the federal government. Mm -hmm. So I have eight years of expertise academically uh, certified and also have been employed by the Department of Defense for five years in the Department of Justice. And then and then you had actually, there was a time you were even at Anthem too, weren't you? Yes, I came out of uh, government service and I went back to private industry and worked for uh, Ernst & Young and Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield here in Indianapolis for five years. We're, we're talking some serious mental horsepower behind <laughs> your, your expertise. Uh, it just, I mean, it really is amazing what you've done to become qualified at, at, at your expertise. So how, do you, how does it work? What does an engagement look like for, for you and a client? What, you know, they have a problem. They come in and they think, we want to do government contracting. And, and are they all capable of it? Well, what uh, Big Fish Consulting likes to do is to work very hands-on with our clients. We have clients at several levels. Some clients are just starting uh -huh. uh, their interest in doing business with the federal government. Some have currently received their first contract award, and now they're like, oh, my goodness, what do I do? Mm -hmm. And then there's some clients who are completing an actual government contract and need to do a federal closeout process according to the laws and regulation of the government and don't have any idea how to do that. Well, and there's something you said to me before that's really interesting is that sometimes they should need, you, you'll look at a client and say, you know what, it doesn't make sense in your business's life right now for you to even attempt to get into government contracting. Is that fair? That's true, Tony. We try to uh, work with a company and do an upfront assessment on okay. them mm -hmm. to see if they are really eligible or capable to do the, the strenuous uh, process of doing business with the government before they waste the time and energy and the bid and proposal money to invest in that. You've told me that it's more of a marathon, it's not a sprint, right? Exactly. You, you have to commit to win this game. Is long that fair? term, yeah. long term. And so, so a lot of times that assessment can save those organizations thousands of dollars. I mean, the Literally. return on investment for looking and engaging with you is just 20 to 1. Is Absol that fair? Absolutely. And then, and, and, and then if you do get to the point where there is, um, there is an opportunity there, that, that maze that they're getting through that you help them navigate is just... I mean, it's really pretty awesome what you're doing. Well, unfortunately, uh, I work very closely with the United States Small Business Administration, and one of the things that happens is a lot of businesses, they want to start out working for the government, mm -hmm. and they've never done any other work. They haven't established their profitability with sure. their company, so their profit margin is non-existent. And I say to them, you don't want to make the client of the government your first customer. And and one of and just speaking to that, one of the one of the things I think that's so valuable is the business acumen along with the expertise that you get that you bring to the picture. It's like it's having the guts to look someone in the eye and say, Hey, you know, your business is not in a place where you can lose half of your business because a government budget's cut and now you now you have to change your organization dramatically. That's very true. And we've seen that happen, haven't we? Many times. So so I just you know, from that standpoint what type of c clients are eligible to be your clients? We work with clients of all levels, as I stated, but the ideal client for mm -hmm. working with the government, they need to have been in business a minimum of three to five years, okay. profitable. Okay. And um, now they're ready to branch their portfolio, their business portfolio, into working with the government. And so if they're uh, in that situation, mm -hmm. they have something to fall back on as the long milestones of doing business with the government extends out. You got a client base, you got cash flow, you got those things that allow you to, to deal with the 90 day payouts, yada, yada, yada. Exactly. What, um, what type of industries do you see moving and engaging with the government? Is it all over the board, or are there, are there certain industries that have more opportunities than others? Well, Tony, uh, the government is the number one 
purchaser of product and services. Um, mm -hmm. the, the current budget is $200 billion. Wow. Um, and so the government buys everything from office supplies to plumbing. Okay. So um, we want to make sure we work with the client to find out what their services are to match those with the services that the government is procuring. If I'm if I'm a CEO of an, uh, one of those those businesses and I've just got uh, and I and I've seen this buzz, how do I at least initially figure out whether or not there is a demand for what I sell from the government? They need to contact Big Fish Consulting so we can help them through that assessment process. So you could even show them like the the vehicles where they would find the RFPs or the things like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Now you uh, now it wouldn't be rainmakers if we didn't talk about the kind of strategic relationships that you're looking to build. What kind of other organizations are working with your target client? I work uh, out, outside of being the chair of Raymakers in Fort Wayne. I also work with the Indiana Small Business Development Center. I am a volunteer business counselor for them. I will be teaching a fall class at IPFW mm -hmm. on government contracts and rules of the game. Also, I work with the Fort Wayne Women's Bureau. I volunteer as a, a business counselor for their uh, startup businesses, mm -hmm. uh, businesses who are trying to move into the government. So, several other agencies. Okay. So, one of the, so uh, people who have uh, relationships with those agencies in other markets, other counties, might be a good uh, person for you. I think one of the things that I've noticed just by the nature of the relationships you built, though, are other. Other businesses that provide strategic advice on how to grow that business, whether it's sales consulting, whether it's business, you know, got people who are writing business plans, you know, where someone's already got it in helping a business get to the next level, and and they'll reach out to you and say, hey, we need some, we're looking at government contracting, let's bring Marlin in at this piece. Absolutely. So if you're a business coach, if you're a CFO for hire, if you're writing business plans, if you're working with those organizations that I would call breakthrough. You know, yes. you know, maybe they're at, at one mil to, you know, and up and they're going to that next level and they ha and they look at government as an option to get there. If you're working through breakthrough companies, uh, high end uh, accounting, accounting firms would be a good connection for you. Is that fair? Absolutely. Uh, Big Fish Consulting, do you have a website? Big Fish Consulting, uh, one of our rainmakers is working on our website. We're very excited about that. It will be www.bigfishconsulting.com. So check it out. Get with Marlon. If you, if, you, if you need her contact info, just call the hotline 866-375-RAIN. You've been on the buzz. Thank you.